you, filthy boys. You love a bit of PC, don't ya? Oh, really gets you going. Watching your Concept CV YouTube channel. Watching your PC builds again, all jealous about what's been going on. <laughs> You're in the right <laughs> channel, boys. You're in the right bloody channel. I tell you that much for free right now. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm going to turn this cap around because it was making me speak in a way that is not becoming of a young gentleman. Welcome back to the channel, it's Concept2, we're talking about PC Tech, we're going to be going through a juicy juicy build, this is my best selling build, and you're going to see why it's our best selling build, it looks beautiful, performance is great, so let's just not even wait, let's just get straight into that parts list baby, let's go, so CPU, Ryzen 5 5600X, 6 core 12 thread processor, nice price drop on these recently, bringing them in line, a bit more competitive with Intel, what I like about the Ryzen's as well is the boards are quite cheap now, so that also means that you can get a bit better value out of the build. So, but really good single core performance, fantastic for all your you know high FPS esports games. Going to be running those absolutely no problem, and with high FPS, absolutely blooming marvelous. The cooler we have today is actually one of my sort of slept on favorites. It's the ID Cooling Zoom Flow 240 millimeter ARGB liquid cooler. It's not one of those really cheap ARGB liquid coolers, but it looks really good. Like it's got a proper premium look. If there was a Corsair logo on this on this uh, on this cooler, it'd be selling for way more money. It's literally the only difference. Motherboard MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi, absolute classic on the channel. We love this board because it's just no frills. It gives you what you need and nothing more, nothing less. Nothing's the best. It's a really good board because I got these at £60, which is mental price. Wi-Fi built in, it's got the USB-C front panel, which we're not using for this case, admittedly, but it's quite a good feature to have for a low price board. Nice VRM, good enough to hold a Ryzen 7 5800X and maybe Ryzen 9 5900X, maybe, depending on what the airflow in the case is like. But overall, I think it's a great, great motherboard for the money. The memory we've got is, we've gone for 32 gigabytes in this build, um, just to mix it up, and because I had some white 32 gigabytes um, in the studio as well. So, two lots of 16, DDR4-3600CL16, Crucial Ballistics RGB white. This is this Crucial Ballistics RAM is definitely my favourite, whether you get the RGB, the non-RGB, whatever you get, because it just always works. It's got very easy to run ICs on it, which means that it's going to work even if you've got this motherboard that just won't accept any RAM. Oftentimes, I've put some crucial ballistics in there and it's accepted it at XMP, no problem. 32 gigs, nice. 3600 speed, nice. CL16, nice. The storage we have a little bit of a spicier storage today. You're used to seeing the WDs. Today, we've got the Samsung 1 terabyte 980. Not the 980 Pro because that's the PCIe 4. But the 980 got these at a good price around 75 pounds at the time i wouldn't spend any more than that but it's a really really fast gen 3 drive only thing it doesn't have is dram so that's the compromise that you're making but it's still a very nice drive and it's got the samsung branding on it which does help it sell video card finally 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 been able to get back some more gigabyte vision cards these are very hard to get hold of uh, the gigabyte vision 3070 especially Nvidia ramping down the production of the 3070 now because we've got all these other variants around it. Um, what can I say? It's hard to get. Gigabyte Vision is a beautiful graphics card. The whole range is fantastic and I definitely recommend it. Um, but the 3070 for this build is a really nice pairing with the 5600X, making it a great mid to high end build. The case we've got today is a Thermaltake S100 TG in white. We've done a review of that. Let's ping a little little thingy in the corner so you can go to that if you want to but don't click away from this video guys great great case it's got that proper chalky white look the internals are white as well nice and compact but not too compact that you're having to sort of not have breathing room for stuff fits everything perfectly it's a really nice case to tie all of this all together power supply a little bit more premium than you need you could easily get away with a 650 watt high quality um, bronze power supply we've gone for a 750 watt antec neo eco gold just to mix things up i had some of these lying around with an overstock so why not include them a bit better value for the customer i get to get rid of some of my overstock happy happy days it's a semi modular and it's kind of this weird kind of semi modular which i actually quite like um it's got the power cable for the motherboard comes out of it, the power cable for the CPU comes out of it, and you get a PCIe comes out of it 
without having to plug in any modular cables and then you've got the option to add more modular cables for more PCIe and SATA and that kind of thing. Quite a nice design actually. Um, there's, I don't really think there's any need to get full modular power supply, it's just not really required unless you need to get some fancy coloured cables and have very limited cable room because you can't put the extensions on. That would make sense but for most cases, semi-modular and modular, I'd consider them equally as good. Uh, so next, uh, moving on to the fans. So these are nice special fans. They're not actually as cheap as you'd think from EZ DIY Fab, which is one of those sort of classic Amazon brands. But my gosh, they look really, really nice. They got nice rings on both sides, really bright RGB, nice white housing, and it comes with a pretty nice little RGB and PWM hub as well. I think there's a really good set of fans. Um, what can I say? Good fans. Like them look beautiful that's the point to look nice isn't it so that means with these four fans we'll have a total of six rgb fans in the case all white all gonna look absolutely gorgeous and then to complete the look custom sleeve cabling is a great addition to any gaming pc just because it does give it that professional combed look and that's why we've gone with these white ones and these are from shack mods there's a link down in the description to pick those up the other thing we've got as well, not pictured, is some white vinyl wrap. And we're going to put that around the power supply just to give it a proper crisp, clean white look. Um, so that's it. That's the parts list. We have got some affiliate links in the description for some of the parts. Obviously, some of them you're not going to be able to get or some of them are going to be more expensive on Amazon. Um, but worth having a look if you're thinking about putting together a similar type machine. So there we go. That's the parts list. So what we're going to do now is break for a quick sponsor spot. After that, straight into a build. And then after that, we're going to be talking about the gaming performance. So stick around. It's going to be a fun, fun ride. Wa -wa -la -la. This video is brought to you in partnership with JCPCCustoms.com, purveyors of fine gaming PCs. But why buy from JCPC Customs? There are three pillars to what we do. Enthusiast-grade build quality, stunning good looks that you are proud to display, and all at a fair price. But how do you get your hands on one? We've got three methods. We have the ready-to-go PC section. These are PCs that are already built ready to ship out with optimized specifications so excellent for the most fuss free experience for those that want to spec out themselves you can use our configurator listing and this is where you can choose some lists of parts that we have available to us but for the most granular experience the truly custom experience you can use our custom spec service and this is where you fill out our google form you can choose every component even down to the model number and any other accoutrements that you also want with the pc can be accommodated here so thank you very much for watching and head to jcpccustoms.com to learn more.
think you'll agree <laughs> that this is spectacular. Oh, yes. You can see why. As soon as I list these, they're flying off the shelves because it's just... It's a classic concept soup channel design. Come on, guys. It's that beautiful crisp white look without going for really expensive, you know, high brand Corsair, Asus stuff, whatever. It still looks so crisp, so clean, really nice build, and everyone that buys them absolutely loves them. And to be honest, I can see why. I mean, it is chalky white. It's pure. And indeed, the performance is there, isn't it? You've got a lovely 5600X, lovely 3070 in there. That's really good. Even for some nice 4K gaming on this, no trouble, no fuss, no must. And speaking of gaming, let's put up some results on the screen. Now, you know on the channel, we usually like to play some of the gameplay back so you can see it in real time. But you didn't account for this guy being an absolute moron and deleting the footage. I've been recording a lot of footage lately. Sadly, uh, the footage from this one has gone amiss, but I did write down the performance numbers. So at least we'll have that going on the screen whilst we look over the build. Um, but you can appreciate it's a high-end build. It's going to be exactly what you expect for what you're paying. Great performance in Fortnite. Over 300 FPS pretty much all the time. In fact, all the time. Um, this will also be great for Warzone. We don't test in Warzone because there's been some been some fun we've been having around their anti-cheat and the detection when you change Microsoft accounts and all that kind of stuff. So we leave Warzone for now <laughs> until they sort out their anti-cheat thing. But... At least on the games that we tested, Fortnite, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Heaven Benchmark, uh, Apex Legends, Red Dead, all these games absolutely smashing it out of the park. So whoever picks this up is going to be having a really, really baller experience and looking stylish as well. It actually looks, it's got the same sort of design language as like a PS5 in a way. So you've got a nice PS5 on your desk, got this on your desk, it'll look pretty good. You know, it's that black on the trim, but broadly a white design. Very, very nice. I want to know what you think. Put a comment down in the comment section below. Always happy to hear your thoughts and opinions. Maybe there's something you would have done differently in this build. Always up for hearing um, your feedback, suggestions, comments, queries, all that stuff. Of course, links in the description, affiliate links for the parts, and indeed links to JCPC Customs where you can pick up this PC in the UK. And with that, I'm going to say good day. See you later. And don't forget to subscribe. Please.